Organising races and dealing with competitors is one thing, but attracting sponsors and investors is something else. To do this, P1's invested heavily rebranding the sport. Corporate hospitality plays a large role in the development of Powerboat P1. Getting the sporting action right means that the experience on the water is truly unique. We came first into the sport with a, a business concept to create a, a communications platform for the marine industry. The marine industry today is very limited in the different platforms that they have. You see very little advertising on television for the marine industry, for example. Through our sport, we will provide them with that opportunity. Powerboat P1's growth rate is very impressive, in particular attracting new teams who are investing to compete in the UIM World Championship. With racing fleet numbers continuing to rise and more boats on the horizon, this sport's definitely making its mark and attracting growing audiences at events as well as on TV. If we go to Italy, to Norway, to the UK for example, they're very educated publics. These people know boats. They look for different things. They look for the technology. They like the sound. They like to hear things. In, in new countries, we have to educate them a bit about what we're doing. So we bring them into the village, into the wet pits, so they can see the boats, so they can see the activity going on uh, in the dry pits and the wet pits. Uh, and then we bring the race closer to land, so they can actually see the race from the beach. That's what motorsport on water should be about. Corporate packages open the door to the P1 world with fantastic hospitality, boatside passes in the wet and dry pits, the best seats to watch the race, the entertainment, and a chance to brush shoulders with the competitors, something pretty unique in the world of motorsport. The growth of P1 is helped by the geographic spread of the championship and by the large numbers of international teams competing from the UK, France, Switzerland, Monaco, Italy, Malta and Austria, who, because of the new P1 rules, are competing more closely than ever before. One unique aspect about our sport, the track changes every second. You never know what's coming next. And in terms of uh, spectacular images, you've got the sun, you've got the sea, and you've got motorsport. There's nothing better. Whilst this year the racing has lifted the sport to a new level of competitiveness, credit must also go to some of the fantastic venues that have hosted the 2004 Powerboat P1 Grand Prix. We started in Malta, a tiny jewel in the Mediterranean. It was the ancient port of Valletta that hosted the P1 village and show, the crossroads of different cultures. Then we moved on to the Provincia di Roma Grand Prix in Fiumicino. The powerboat P1 village there was the centre of much entertainment and glamour. Next up was Brighton on England's south coast. The marina attracted huge crowds to the wet pits, while the P1 village offered a front row view of one of the most exciting races of the year from the beach. Sardinia's exclusive resort of Poltu Quatu welcomed the World Championships for round seven and eight of the series. The all-in-one location provides five-star care and hospitality. It is, after all, a jet-set destination where the rich and famous come to play. And finally, Powerboat P1 finished the season by visiting the historic island of Sicily and the city of Catania with its perfect port setting. Clear blue skies above, all in the shadow of the still active volcano, Mount Etna.